Ecological pyramids can be used to represent feeding relationships, energy flow, and population numbers in an ecosystem. The base of a pyramid is the largest level. The base supports all other levels in the pyramid. Autotrophs are the base of all ecosystems. They provide the original source of chemical energy needed to support all other levels. Autotrophs convert light energy from the sun into chemical energy through the process of photosynthesis. Autotrophs directly provide chemical energy to herbivores, the first level of consumers in a pyramid. Secondary consumers in an ecosystem represent carnivorous species that eat other animals. The secondary consumers rely directly on the herbivore population for chemical energy. In some ecosystems, there are tertiary or third level consumers. The top of the pyramid represents the top of the food chain. Top predators rely directly on other consumers for chemical energy. The different levels of the pyramid are called trophic levels. As you can see, each trophic level of the pyramid decreases in size. This represents a decrease in numbers. For an ecosystem to be stable, there must be more producers than consumers. There must be more plants than herbivores. And there must be more herbivores than carnivores. Each level in the ecological pyramid directly supports the next level. If there is a sudden decrease in any level of the pyramid, it will directly affect other levels. This is because each level supports the energy needs of the next level. Ecological pyramids finally represent the amount of available energy in an ecosystem. The amount of available energy decreases as you move up the pyramid. This is because most of the energy obtained by an organism is used to perform life functions. Energy that has been spent is lost to the environment as heat. Only 10% of energy obtained is available for transfer. About 90% is spent and lost as heat. If ecological systems are constantly losing energy at each level, then how is an ecosystem sustained? The sun provides a continual input of energy into the system. Autotrophs use light energy to create chemical energy to support the energy needs of the entire pyramid. An ecosystem is a place where living organisms depend upon each other and their environment.